When you first read through Isaiah 20 and 21, it's kind of like reading today's newspaper. The news is all bad. It's bad news for the city of Ashdod, as it's overtaken by the Assyrian army. It's bad news for Egypt and Ethiopia, as God uses Isaiah to give them a really awkward sign concerning their future. It's bad news for Babylon, as Isaiah predicts their sudden and utter destruction. And it's bad news for Edom and Arabia, as their future downfall is also proclaimed. As chapter 20 opens, Isaiah is wearing sackcloth. He's in mourning, and God speaks to Isaiah, telling him to take off the sackcloth, and to take off his sandals too, for that matter. So for the next three years, the Bible tells us, Isaiah walks around naked and barefoot. Why? As a sign against Egypt and Ethiopia. God is displaying their future. See, when the Philistine city of Ashdod fell to Assyria, neighboring Judah would certainly be next. But instead of relying on the power and protection of the Lord, Judah expected Ethiopia to come to their defense. They depended on the glory of Egypt to overwhelm the Assyrians and save them. But neither of those things happened. Both Egypt and Ethiopia fell to Assyria. Their people were led away naked and barefoot, just like Isaiah. And Judah was left defenseless, afraid, and ashamed. For me, our reading today is more than just a collection of historic bad news. It's more than a naked prophet, more than the sad state of the nation of Judah. It's a reminder for you and I that our hope our salvation as those who bear and believe in the name of Jesus is in Christ alone. Listen to the words of King David from the 20th Psalm. He said, Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And that's my prayer for you and I today, that we would trust in the Lord and find our strength renewed through that. That you and I would soar high on wings like eagles, that we would run and not grow weary, that we would walk and not faint.